All right, man. Houston OG responds to the recent sudden death of Philadelphia rapper PNB Rock with this, right? Let me tell you, man. It's got the industry talking right now. They print puts RIP to PNB Rock and my condolences to the family and friends. To all the dumb mother M's blaming his girlfriend for his death, you're worth. You're wrong with two left shoes. Here's a woman that's been traumatized by seeing her boyfriend killed in front of her, you dumb Fs. And adding insult to injury with dumb S that you don't know the facts. As a man and a leader, you have to teach your girl what and what not to do if you know. I believe the root of the problem is wearing jewelry without proper security. Until rappers and others come to the realization that if you put cheese in front of a rat without a trap, they will eat and run every time. To make myself clear, if you're wearing jewelry without proper security, understand you're making yourself a target. Be some, some clowns will kill you. For your jewelry. And also understand if a robber has a gun and your face acted for your jewelry, it's smarter to give it up and stay alive. Than them to take it them to take it off you and you end up shot or dead. To sum this all up, be smart and don't wear jewelry if you're not prepared for the jackers. Live to see another day, wear it another time, it's just that simple. Understand you can't rationalize with a wolf mentality. They don't care if you're a good person or not. They just want to eat. This is lightsaber wisdom. Take heed. Now, we just got finished having this conversation on the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. You could check it out the video prior to this one, right? We just got finished. As much as, you know, we want to sit back and say, you know, he was a good dude. Not, they wasn't gang affiliated and he shouldn't have to have this. The best analogy that I can give you is if you were going into a jungle, a literal jungle, you know, going to that jungle, because you do your research, you find out what you're dealing with, right? You don't just go in there, you know, blind. They got tigers. They got poisonous snakes. They got poisonous spiders. They got lions. They got alligators. They got birds of prey. They got man-eating monsters that come up off the ground and get you if they hear your vibration like tremors. All this type of stuff. Like, just, <laughs> let's just paint the picture. So you're going into this environment, and you know what? <laughs> I'm going to have food. Raw meat on a stick. Raw meat on a stick. I'm going to have, you know, blood pouring out from all my pores. Like, it's just certain, you just got to understand the environment that you're going into. And I think, you know, when you don't understand that, you're susceptible to situations. I'm not saying, you know, that he was wrong. He just got caught in a real precarious situation in the wrong now I saw somebody write in the comments since he's from Philly. He said, "He said him going to that Roscoe's in South Central." And shout out to the person that said this. I can't remember, you know, what I mean your name, but you know, if you hear me say this again, please leave a comment and I'll pin it. Right? They said P and B in the hood at Roscoe's in South Central eating during the middle of the day with jewelry on. It's like somebody coming to Max's in Philly with with, with mad jewelry on. Now, if you ever been to Max's in Philly? It's in the hood, dead smack in the middle of North Philly. If I'm not mistaken, it's right off Erie Ave or on Erie Ave. I'm, I'm, I might be wrong about that, right? But this is a, a known block where th people get laid down every single day, right? You're going out there, you got guys that are starving. And one thing I like that was great that, you know, uh, um, Jay Prince said was probably the most important thing because you guys probably know the rest. Is you can't rationalize with a wolf's mentality. A wolf. A shark smells blood. They go for it. If they were to put you in a zoo. And put you inside the lion cage. He's not going to rationalize. He's going to go for it. What he knows. This is the situation you're in. So what do you do? Because you, you hear me rambling. You hear me talking. Right? What do you do? You a rapper. You can't afford, you can't have a gun legally or guns legally, right? You get yourself some security, right? It's even to the point if you're a felon, right? And I'm not saying carry illegally, but at some point in time, it comes to time where you got to really think to yourself like, okay, risk, reward. Okay, I may get caught with the burner. I may have to do three to five. But if I get caught without the burner, I might do life in a box, my kid, I won't be there for my kids for real. I won't be there for my girl for real. And this is the reality for each and every one of these celebrities or rappers that go in and out of these different neighborhoods. Now, people say he was living there. 
that don't, that don't mean nothing. You're a public figure. You're shiny. You're eating in the middle of the hood where there's gang activity going on. Where you got stick up kids. You got robbers. You got murderers, drug dealers, all that. All in that vicinity swarming. Oh shit, PNB. Whether somebody gave him the drop that worked there. Whether the girlfriend left the uh, Instagram story. Whatever the case may be. Whatever the case may be, right? They knew he was in that location. And they swarm. Now, some people are saying that they try to go on it. They popped up in there, try to get the jury. He went and let it go. Let it go. It ain't worth your life. It ain't worth your life. That's just one account of the story. I'm not a sore 100% if that's accurate. Let it go. It's nothing's worth your life, man. So the moral of this thing is, like, don't drop your locations until you're up out of there. And if you prepare to drop your location, be prepared for war, bro. Period. Be prepared for war. And I'm not talking about, you know, people with 200 followers. I'm talking about people who's nationally known. Worldwide rappers. Everybody knows this guy. Shit, when I was in L.A., I walked right past him. And this was like two, three years ago at the BET Awards. Literally walked right past him in the street. Like, oh, shit, that was p and And that's how it is in L.A. You run into different people all day long in L.A. But, again, it, it could be deceptive because even like in New Jersey, you can go one street, could be million-dollar homes right around the corner is poverty. To my knowledge, it's the same thing in California. You may think that, you know, you're in a beautiful, beautiful part of California. It's nice hair. Next thing you know, the robbers is coming around the corner. Shit, we went to Crenshaw and Slauson when Nipsey first passed away. And we walk in. It's early in the morning, right? And we see the car pull up. I'm like, damn. I'm seeing like five niggas in the car. And I'm like, damn, they really got the drop on us if they believe. We was food. Straight up food. We wouldn't be able to run nowhere. We was food. Luckily, I started feeling like we was being boxed in. Mad of a tourist come out. Ask him, man, I know I don't lie to you. Mad of the tourist pour out. Next thing you know, it's flooded with like 50, 60 tourists. So it kind of took some of the pressure. And then dude come up. You know, I'm trying to read him. He's asking, yo, I got some Nipsey shirts. So I'm trying to read him. Like, is he trying to get me to pull a knot out so he can stick me up? Like, this, see, we, we, we own it like that. I went to um, I went to Atlanta. And, you know, I hop out at the hotel to Sheraton. Boom, boom, boom. Get out the rental. And dude pop up with the little three-car mining joint. And then another dude come, come out of nowhere like he ain't know who he was. He like, all right, if you pick the right joint, boom, 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 I'm going to give you $100. Boom. So I picked the right joint. And he's like, all right, let me see your knot. I'm like, all right, I got to go. Well, like, nigga. You can't get me. We from the East Coast. We done seen it all. You go to LA, they try to hustle. You go to Atlanta, they try to Like, we don't come from Atlanta hustlers. You can't get me. I'm out, dog. I got to go. Because if I get wrapped up with you, not to say you're going to rob me or something, but you're going to try to take my bread on some three-car money type shit. So that's the lesson of the story. Shout out to Jay Prince, man. Um, like I said, I will be hate to be cliche and just talk about this needs to stop. And what now? We need to have compassion, but it's gonna take a lot more, you know, than that. All I can say to you is just think about it, man, before you make that decision. You know, that's going to either jeopardize your life or somebody else's life. Just think for a minute and rationalize things and think logically about the situation. Like, is it worth it? That's all I can say. But it's your boy, brother, old guy, hip hop news and stuff. So that makes you guys hit the like button. I mean, I, I think I gave you some great commentary here. Smash that like button, right? Make sure you share the video. You can share it on Facebook, share it on Instagram, and make sure you subscribe to Hip Hop News Uncensored for more exclusive just like this. The subscribe button is right on the joint. Hit the like button on the way out. Peace.